Hello there friends, Dr. Zhu here. Greetings for all of you. I'm so happy to see you here. So show me who is here. Please give me a little like or a little heart, whatever, so I can see who is here and who we're gonna meditate together. So first of all, I like to introduce what we are going to do and why. I'm sure you know why, because it's so much panic and stress and fear and all and people tell you you should turn inside you and you should uh, you know you should just uh, take care of whatever is inside you but then you would want to stay silent and you can't do anything about it because your mind is just racing and it's always a big big craziness is in your head so um, I like to show you something which is a many many thousand years old techniques it's not mine and I like to show you how you can use it uh, even just five, five minutes in your life, how it can help you tremendously with what is happening right now. And it's not just what's happening right now, but all together in your life. So uh, I like to ask you to close your eyes. If you have anything against closing your eyes, then please keep your eyes closed. Just know that once your eyes are open, you have visual cues where your mind will always keep going. So it's a lot easier if you are going to close your eyes. So if you are going to make this little commitment to yourself, first little commitment to yourself that you close your eyes and you keep it closed for the entire time. And I'm going to tell you uh, when to open your eyes anyway. And I'm not going anywhere and I'm not going to write you anything. Um, I am able to see what we are writing here right now. And again, um, greetings for all of you who are here. Happy Sunday for you. And uh, just show me who are here. Send me a little heart, a little like. Just tell me, you know, say hi, whatever, so I can see who is here. So the more of us we are here, the more love we can generate for us and for the world. So if there is any question you have in the same time or right now, uh, please ask. And I promise that for the next few minutes, the last few minutes after the meditation is done, then I am going to stay here to answer your questions. So I will look over, I will look over the um, and the uh, comments which you wrote here and if any uh, questions regards anything then I'd be happy to uh, um, answer you here. So if you are ready uh, for this wonderful experience which is nothing else is involved just you and your breath then let's do that. So I'm going to also close my eyes so that the next 15 minutes or so I won't be able to see your comments so please keep the comments after so whoever is joining us now just join us and just do what i am asking you to do and then um, then we will finish together okay wonderful so close your eyes please and just allow your mind to be it's a very simple thing to do Start watching your thoughts like you would be watching the clouds on the sky or you are watching a movie. Step back from your thoughts. Start watching them. You will notice they come and go. This is their nature. They always change just like everything else in life. Your thoughts are changing. You pull yourself back and you just watch your thoughts. Allow them to be. Stop fighting them. Stop wanting something else instead. Let them be. Observe them without any reaction. Allow your physical feelings to be. You may be sitting on a chair or you're sitting with your leg crossed. Doesn't matter how you sit in the moment. Allow those physical feelings to be. It could be a feeling of some illness, 
some other pains or sores or hurts, doesn't matter. Finally accept them. Let them be. Stop reacting to them. Stop making them bigger. Stop wishing them to go away. Stop fighting against them. Just accept them. Let them be. With this, allow every noise in your environment to be. So as my environment, you may be going to hear my dogs. Allow them to be all the noises, whatever that is. Now allow all your emotions in your heart, in your soul. Allow them to be. Stop fighting against your own emotions. Whatever emotions may be, shall that be fear, anxiety, confusion, guilt, resentment, wantings, cravings. Allow those feelings to be. Stop fighting against them. Just let them be. Pull yourself back. Step back from your own emotions. Stop identifying yourself with your own emotions. Notice and realize you are not your emotions because your emotions are also come and go, just like your thoughts, physical feelings, your emotions are always constantly changing, changing. How can you be your emotion if it's constantly changing? Once it's changed, you would be disappearing, but you are still here. You are here to observe everything, your thoughts, physical feelings and emotions. Give the permission for all to be. Stop fighting against yourself. The moment you fight against an emotion because you don't want them, you want something else instead. You are in a fight with your own self. Realize. Now bring, the, bring your focus onto your nostrils. Start observing how the air is touching inside of your nostrils. If you don't feel this, touch. Take a few deeper breaths, heavier breaths, to feel the touch in the inside of your nostril, the edge of your nostril. You may be feeling that the air is traveling up in your nostrils on, on the inhalation and traveling down on the exhalation. Continue to stay with your focus on your breath, how the air is touching the edge of your nostril or inside of your nostril. Doesn't matter left or right nostril or both of the nostrils, that doesn't matter. And you will notice that every few seconds your mind jumps and it pulls you away it jumps up and down and left and right, just like for everyone who has a conditioned mind and all of us has it. Your mind always jumps. You can't concentrate more than five or six seconds and it jumps when it happens. Easily and effortlessly, smoothly come back and continue observing your breath. The focus of your attention should come back without any negative reaction to the fact that your mind pulled you, pulled you away. If you start getting angry at yourself when your mind pulled you away and you start wondering and thinking, you will be practicing hatred and dislikes. This is not the focus of your exercise of this exercise.
the main idea here is not to link your success to how many breaths you can focus on one, two, three, four, or five. Your success comes when you keep repeatedly pull yourself back and bring your focus back, constantly refocusing smoothly, effortlessly from thinking and wondering until observing your nostrils and feeling the air touching inside of your nostrils. Allow your breath to be a natural breath. If you start feeling to be sleepy, drowsy, wake yourself up with a few deeper breaths. Otherwise, turn back into natural breath. The moment you realize you are thinking, you became conscious, you became aware, and you have a decision. You are going to roll that thought further. Or you come back and observe your breathing. So you do what you want to do and not what your mind wants you to do. Bring your focus back smoothly and effortlessly from the noises you hear, your body feelings to feel, all your emotions, all your thoughts, whichever pulled your focus away, smoothly, gently bring it back to your nostril. Whenever your mind pulls you away and you start thinking and wondering, make sure when you realize this, you watch your thoughts, emotions, non-reactively. With equanimity, not taking any sides, not liking or wanting, or wanting something else. Stop judging whatever that is there. Accept, come back and continue observing your breath, the air touching inside of your nostril. Now, wonderful. We are going to progress to the second part of our of our practice here, you can keep your eyes closed, please. Place one of your hands on your heart. Now you can feel your breath as your, as your chest is elevating and suppressing. Now I'd like to ask you to generate the acceptance feeling in your heart, acceptance. Acceptance is a feeling what you generate when you don't want to change something. You allow it to happen. So once you have this feeling, send it for this one breath, what you just finished right now. Don't want to change your breath. If it's shallow, it's shallow. If it's deep, it's deep. Doesn't matter. It's a breath and it keeps you alive. That's the main thing here. That's the most important and most valuable thing. We are learning the feeling of acceptance on our own body, beginning with your breath. Your breath is always with you. As long as you are alive, your breath is always with you. You can practice on your breath. Now I'd like you to extend the feeling of your acceptance, the acceptance feeling from your heart and let it radiate in your entire heart. All the heart cells, accept all the heart cells. Now radiate out acceptance to your chest all the chest cells 
abdominal cells, your hip, your leg, all the way down to the tip of your toes. Now bring the acceptance feeling from your shoulders down on your arm, down to the tip of your fingers. Now bring the acceptance feeling and radiate it out through the cells of your neck and your head. Let acceptance feeling radiate from your heart for your entire body, every single cell. You are learning the acceptance feeling on cellular level. You can only accept yourself if you learn this. Acceptance on cellular level. You teach your cells acceptance. Then you will be able to honestly, from your heart, genuinely accept everyone else because you learn the feeling of acceptance, the vibrations of acceptance. Now let's give you a little challenge. Radiate out your acceptance feeling for your entire family, your loved ones. Your entire city. Accept all the people, all the beings and non-beings. Your entire city then in your entire country. And the entire world. Realize that based upon the fact that we are breathing, we are all the same. Just like you are fighting for acceptance, exactly the same way other people are fighting for it. So finally accept yourself the way you are and accept everyone else based on this. Wonderful. Bring your focus of your attention back into your heart. Now generate the gratitude feeling, gratitude. Gratitude is a feeling what you feel when something is very, very valuable happened in your life. Something very, very useful. Now generate this feeling from your heart and send it out for your one breath. We are learning gratitude. And first of all, we practice gratitude on every single breath and start celebrating every single breath as this is the most valuable gift you can ever have. Your life is signified by every single breath. Your life is the most valuable gift you can ever have. And it makes you valuable. Only if you are valuable, receive such a gift of life. And you were made to receive this, to learn the most important two vibrations, sensations and feelings acceptance and gratitude, which is the foundation, sensations of love. The baseline emotion. The foundation of all emotion, love. Wonderful. If you can feel gratitude for each and every breath you take right now, everything else will be a bonus in your life that you will be able to stay grateful for and you will realize whatever is happening in your life you stay patient and accepting you will see that it was for you if you keep your eyes and heart open you will see that that is a learning experience and you should take that learning now take this gratitude and let it fill up your entire heart. Now let it fill up 
your entire chest, your abdomen, your hip, legs, arms, neck and head. So feel that as gratitude, feeling vibrates out from your heart and fills up your entire body, entire body. Be grateful for every single little cell you have. Since you accepted them, now you can be grateful for them. Doesn't matter what shape and form they are. Be grateful. They are keeping you alive. Now comes the challenge. Radiate out gratitude from yourself for your loved ones and your family. Let this gratitude feeling be even bigger. Radiate it out for your entire city. Now radiate gratitude out. So thank you for the entire country. Now the entire world. When you teach your body gratitude, it will be very easy to express gratitude for everything and anything and anybody and everybody, beings and non-beings. Acceptance and gratitude, the two foundational sensations, vibrations, emotions of love. Everything is born from here. If you teach your body these two sensations, you will be able to change your entire life based on the fact that you changed and you see the world differently. You will be able to see the truth. You will be able to see everyone and anyone out of your acceptance and gratitude, therefore you will be able to see them objectively and out of compassion. And you will be able to, I mean, you need to be able to teach these sensations for yourself first. Self-acceptance and gratitude for your own self is self-love, nothing else. And remember, the only thing you have, that's the only thing you can share. So work on your self-acceptance and self-gratitude so you can give to your family, to your loved ones, genuine acceptance and genuine gratitude. And whenever you are ready, to come back to earth, to your country, to your beautiful city, to your beautiful home where you are sitting. You may open your eyes and thank you. Thank you for all of you for being here. I am so, so grateful that we have this experience together. And my question is, how do you feel right now? What is your experience? What happened? So you possibly and probably feel very subtle, calm and peaceful sensations and deep inner peace. So what happened right now, the conditioned mind stopped. You will be able to, you were able to step back and there is no longer driving you crazy. It's all stopped, it's all smooth, it's all quiet. Now, this is the sensation of being or existence or existing. This is the sensation where your body is working optimally. 
this is the optimal um, environment for your immune system, for entire body, all the functions to harmonize together. So this is the baseline and the bottom line of your health. And you can do this, you can do this anytime you practice and you watch a little breath observation, do a little acceptance and gratitude, you will get there. It's a very, very easy. And if you practice this morning and evening, you will find an um, incredible changes in your life, a shift, a shift of how you look at things. And this is wonderful because if you change and you see the world differently, then the world already changed. It's different world. So you teach someone else, you teach breath observation for someone else, and then their world will also change just by that. And remember that anytime, anytime you need to uh, stop your fear and panic and uh, depressive and anxiety feelings, because those are the ones which brings your immune system down and all the hormones, all everything else will be upside down and working against you. You are fighting against yourself. So when you realize this self fight within, stop, breathe, observe your mind even. If your mind is racing so much, there's nothing you can do. Just observe your thoughts as they are running wild without any reaction. Just watch them and like a movie. Then you go through observing a little bit of your physical feelings and believe it or not, you start watching, observing a headache or any type of physical pain without any reaction, without any hatred towards. It will be 50% less what it was before much less of a painkiller needed like that. And your emotions will always calm down and you will realize everything is always changing. You may feel this way now, but you know what? The next moment it will change and that's the beauty of it, that this is the first law of the universe, you know, the universal first law. Everything is always changing. So start using that that everything is always changing. And so you won't get stuck in certain situations with certain people. You may just breathe and let them just yell and scream. They will pass, uh, the um, behavior will pass, your behavior will pass, everything will pass. So it's a very big testing time right now that can you stay calm and kind and loving and accepting with gratitude with whatever happens. Because whatever you think, you feel, and you communicate, it will be affecting you first. So start loving yourself in a way that you are responsible for your own health and happiness. So stop criticizing others because it will be affecting your health. You will be upset because of that. So stop doing that. Some people will never learn. So we will allow them that. So you don't want to change them. You don't want to, if they want to change, they will come to you. Be an example. And that is the most what you can do for this world to change. You change, you become peaceful and everyone else will come to you and ask you, that's what you want. So dear friends, thank you so much for being here on this Sunday. For those of you who are in a different continent, just waking up, those of you who have evening or very late night, I am so, so grateful that we did this all together and then hope you can share this experience with others and this um, video remains here. I will save it and I will also save it on YouTube so it will be available anytime for you. So I hope you continue to practice this during these uh, difficult times and times after that. So thank you so much, my dear friends. This was Dr. Zhu again. Love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Bye-bye.